talk about the ABCs. We can learn about the one, two, threes. Well, it's all about you and me having fun together. And we can talk about your family. We can learn anything. But it's all about you and me having fun together. It's all about you and me having fun together. It's all about you and me having fun together. All right, welcome everybody to episode. Uh, number 208, 208 of RME's Music Lab, the uh, River Music Experience Facebook Live show right here. <laughs> or at least that's where we record it. Uh, we're here at 3.30 every afternoon, every weekday afternoon that is, uh, recording it live where you can all jump in and join us here in the chat. Uh, we get to have some fun. It's like, in the, it's like in the song title right there, in the lyrics, you know, it's all about you and me having fun together. So we record it live on Facebook, it gets sent out to all sorts of other places, YouTube, our website, over to our friends at Mediacom, uh, and they send it to all you people out there too, who are probably watching right now, and you're going, man, he's talking about us, that's so cool. So, I got a, I got a pretty fun show set up here, I was kind of going through it, I was thinking about different songs, and I was... You know, uh, I, I I got a big list of things I kind of want to do. We'll see if we get to all of them. Um, I found this fun old, like, uh, Scottish kids song um, that's super, like, goofy and fun. Uh, so we're going to do that. But before we get to that, we need to do our blues lyrics, like we like to do here on Music Lab. Um, I'm going to recycle some blues lyrics that I used last week. Uh, but I just liked them a lot, and I kind of want to do them again, you know? It's kind of a shame with some of these blues lyrics that we write that sometimes they're pretty fun, and then it's kind of like, oh, well, I guess that's it. I guess we're done using that. So, let's do this here. Like Air Jordan, 
I wish I could ride a skateboard like Tony Hawk, but I always fall. There we go. Now, I'm feeling warmed up. I got the the uh, the rust, the dust. It's all knocked off. We're feeling good here. All right. So let's play some songs here. What do you say? Let's start with um, let's start with this with this folk song here. Let's move some things around. Move around the uh, the big book of songs, and let's bring out this guy here. So, this song, "Aiken Drum," it's a old uh, Scottish song here, um, and it's about this guy who uh, lives in the moon. And the thing about him, there's a couple different ways to do this. Um, whether it's either like different parts of his face are made out of fruits and vegetables. I've seen that one done. Um, this version that I have in front of me here is that uh, different parts of his clothes are different foods. Uh, that's basically what it does. So it's kind of like he's, uh, he's like wearing a sandwich basically is what's going on here in this, in this song. Um, but it's silly and it's goofy and it's fun and I wanted to play it for all of you here. So let's do that. Except I was doing it like this. That lived in the moonlight. 
Crust of pies, of crust of pies, of crust of pies, and his waistcoat was, and his waistcoat was made of crust of pies, and his name was Aiken Drum, and he played upon the Right there. We got a little picture that goes with it. That's that's Aiken Drum right there. <laughs> Out of our book of uh, fun random kids songs. There's all sorts of stuff in that book. Um, many things like the Ballad of Aiken Drum, which I have never heard of before, um, but they sure are fun. All right. So today is uh, the birthday of um, well, there's two. There's two like really pretty big birthdays today um, in the world of uh, great uh, women in uh, rock and roll. One of them being Dolly Parton, who we did an episode about a few weeks back. Um, Dolly Parton, amazing. Talk about Dolly Parton for a long time. But the other one here is Janis Joplin, and uh, Janis Joplin, one of the great. Uh, lead singers, great voices of the 1960s. Um, this great uh, kind of combination of, of blues and rock and roll um, really uh, paved the way for a lot of women in rock and roll. And uh, I wanted to do one of her songs, um, a song that she made really famous. It was originally written um, by a guy named Chris Christopherson who wrote a lot of great uh, country songs. Um, but uh, Janis Joplin took this country song and uh, made it into a rock and roll tune here. And so uh, I want to do it for you here. Busted flat in Baton Rouge Waiting for a train Well I was feeling near as faded as mine Bobby thumbed a diesel down just for rain. Rode us all the way to New Orleans. And I pulled my harpoon out of my dirty red bandana. But I was playing soft while Bobby sang the blues, yeah. When she wiped her slapping time, and I'm holding Bobby's hand in mine. And we sang every song that time knew.
Bobby McGee, Chris Christopherson, Janice Joplin right there. Um, I want to do another song here. I've been uh, been giving this a read lately. That's uh, John Fogarty's autobiography. John Fogarty being the uh, lead singer and chief songwriter for the band Creed's Clearwater Revival. Um, it's been a pretty interesting read, um, and I just kind of felt like playing a CCR song. So I wanted to do this one. Um, little proud Mary for y'all. Uh, early on in that book, uh, John Fogarty talks about how he really wanted to combine together um, Americana songwriting of the likes of like Woody Guthrie and Stephen Foster. Um, Stephen Foster being like the, the uh, gentleman that wrote like Oh Susanna um, and uh, Swanee River and stuff like that. A lot of those old Americana songs. Um, he wanted to combine the other Stephen Foster and rock and roll. Um, and I think this song is a good example of that. Um, it's just kind of a song that's become a part of, uh, a part of American music. It's, it's got a ton of great covers, um, including, uh, Ike and Tina Turner, uh, who had a huge hit with it. Um, and it's just kind of a part of that, uh, that canon of American music now at this point. And so, uh, yeah, I was thinking we could have a little fun here and play this one.
right, there we go. Proud Mary, Creedence Clearwater Revival right there for you. Let's see. I think we got time for maybe one more song. You know, I came across this one um, while I was going through that other book, and uh, it just seemed like a fun song to do today. So, I'm thinking we do it. I'm thinking we have a little fun here. This is a uh, Fleetwood Mac song right here. Um, Fleetwood Mac, super popular lately for the song Dreams, uh, because it's been all over the internet, uh, TikTok, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but this is another one. It has a nice, positive, uplifting message, and it's what I want to leave you all with here today, so... another episode of music lab episode 208 i appreciate all of you that have watched live with us here on the rme facebook page uh we record this 3 30 p.m in the afternoon every weekday here um and uh then it gets sent out to all sorts of other places our youtube page our website um and it gets sent to our friends over at mediacom and they put it on their channel there um where i'm sure a lot of you are watching it right now um, if you want to help support the River Music Experience and programs like Music Lab, you can head over to rivermusicexperience.org slash donate. Even if it's just a couple bucks, every little bit helps, and it helps make sure that we can keep uh, bringing music to the Quad Cities uh, through all sorts of different means. Uh, listen, learn, play. That's our whole thing right there, and we try to bring all those different aspects of music to the Quad Cities. Um, and now, let's wrap the show up here the way we do it. Kathy, thanks for 
tune in. Well, we can talk about the ABCs, and we can learn about the one, two, threes. Well, it's all about you and me having fun together. see you tomorrow everybody have a great rest of your day thanks for watching if you want to help support river music experience and other programs like music lab visit rivermusicexperience.org slash donate